Hello friends, welcome back to New S Academy. So we have renamed our YouTube channel name to New S Academy now. So it was merged tag. Now, now onwards we'll be using New S Academy. Okay. So welcome back, guys. Okay. In this session, we are going to talk about the you know mapping from Octa Group to the Anypoint platform team. Okay. So in previous sessions, okay, what we have seen is when somebody logged in from Octa. Those users will be given zero permissions in point platform. So I need to go and manually assign those users to a specific team and then assign the specific set of permissions. Okay. And that will be a hectic job when your user corpus you know, increased and that time manual process will be taken. So this is uh, the the continuation of my you know uh, integration of external IDP provider with any point platform integration. So I'll encourage everyone to please go through those series of sessions and come back to the session. Then only you'll be able to understand how we are integrating Okta with our you know, Anypoint platform. So for this use case, I'm taking Okta as external ID provider, and then we'll be mapping groups from Okta to our Anypoint platform teams. So let's see first the basic uh, setup, okay, where we don't have any group mapping with our Anypoint platform uh, teams. So let me jump onto the demo part. So first I log into my Okta. I show you here how our application looks like. So if I go to my application, which I have created for, you can, you can go to your Okta here, go to applications here. Okay. And this is the application I'm using right now. How to create this application, how to configure all these things. So please go through the, you know, the previous settings. Okay. So, if I go to the general settings here, right now we are only passing the user information. We are not passing any group information. Right? So we'll make this change. Okay. So first one, first uh, thing, this one. Let me go to my login to my AnyPoint platform with my admin user. So first we log in with admin user. Okay. And then if you go to my family ID provider here, okay, which is my Octa, here we are not catching any group related information, right? Okay. Now, so let's go ahead and first log in with. So I'll uh, log out first with this user, which is my admin user. I log in via custom domain, my domain name is. You can find this domain name. I'll show you where we can find this domain name. So we talk with this custom domain name and talk with your Octa. So you can see that there are no permissions, you know, when this user logged into your any point platform. Okay. So what I'll do, I log off with this user. Okay. I'll do these steps now. Please remember these steps when you are doing for your views. So first I log in with my admin account, which is my maximum <clears throat> user. Now I'll go to my access management first. Everything will be doing in the access management. So first of all, I delete this user, okay, because it has a default setup. So I delete this user. Um, I just copy this. One by one, we do this. Step. First we delete this user, okay. Now we go to our identity provider. Before that, let's do one thing. Let's go to our Octa. And now let's create first a group. So where we can create the group, go to directory, create a group. So here, as per your requirement, we can give whatever name you want. I have given C4. And inside the C4, I have added my user. So this is the user we are going to log into any point class. So it is added to this group. I have created a group and I added this group. Okay. Second step. Now go to your application. Go to your application. And then go to your application. In this application, change this panel settings. Okay. Go to general section here and say edit. This edit next, 
and here now in whatever name we give here same attribute name we will be using in our any point platform idp or that okay so here what i'm saying is pass the group information okay wherever it starts with c4 so this group information we pass on inside this attribute this attribute now let, let me where is everything here finish okay now opta site settings are done now let's jump on to any point platform here where i'm logging with my admin account now go to saml opta here and here in the attribute section we'll add that attribute which we are passing it from opta here the changes now we'll create a team now so this team is a new feature for this also i have uploaded the video if you wanted to see how to create teams and what is this new feature all about you can go ahead and explore that video also. so now under this root team we we'll create a new team whatever name you want to give you can give so i'll just give a name called c4e okay okay create this one we have created this under this okay now what you can do add some permissions okay so go ahead and see i'll just add the design center permission let's see design center permission so next now one permission now go to settings here okay go to settings here and now here we need to select that group name of octa what is the name we are giving here in the octa c4 in small case okay no no spaces please make sure that there are no spaces add as a number add it as a number okay so now that group we are the group which is coming via saml octa configuration okay that we are mapping with this team save this okay now let me check let me cross check so i have created a team i have mapped the group in id provider i have added the group name that's that's the setting from our any point platform side. now let's go ahead let's log off this one log off okay close this window what i do is i open in public window okay and i try to log in my any point platform via custom domain try to log in via custom domain okay so okay uh i forgot to show you this where to find this custom domain and show you maybe i mean after so login to rafta and login via my github account here After it, it's logging to Octa. Now it has two tabs and two tabs to login now. Now, see the user is disabled because we have deleted before. So now, what I do, I'll go, go ahead and I'll Close this window and open the thing coming from the main. I think I can do it. And I enable that user. Okay. So now it's a bit of a panic. That means this user is disabled. And this is expected because it was created earlier. Now somebody is creating again that user, so it will be in disabled mode. Okay, so manually somebody has to enable. Okay, in actual scenario, don't be the case because you'll be creating only once. Okay, now I was uh, trying to show you that custom domain where you can find the custom domain. You can find this URL here. Okay, now now the user is enabled. Now if I go back and you know try to Login via this. Okay, so I think we need to start right now. First, 
Okay. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Okay. 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 I will be able to access design center now. Okay. Earlier, the user was not having any permissions. Now, the user is having permission to see design center and some asset in exchange. Okay. So, that's how we map our Octa groups with our teams inside any point platform. Hope you liked it this uh, you know, session, and this will be really helpful for our clients. And uh, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so that you'll get notifications to the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. Take care.